let's talk about the innovative use of technology in election administration. You may know that Kaduna State in the Northwest is leading the way in Nigeria. It was the first state in the country to adopt electronic voting in 2018, and it's used it again for local government elections at the weekend. And it's not just the use of smart card readers that we're talking about here. It's citizens actually voting on a machine that is, was developed specifically for that purpose. The electronic voting machines used in 2018 have been upgraded for use in 2021. So how have they helped to improve efficiency and reduce the problems and errors associated with non-electronic systems? The whole process takes less than 15 seconds. So it's very quick, very efficient, and you see your ballot paper being printed so that the ballot papers can be counted in case the tally electronically by the voting machine uh, is uh, not agreeable to all the parties. So we are very happy with the improvements, and we are pleased that this time it will be extremely difficult for anyone to win these elections. The machines uh, also transmit the results at the end of the uh, voting to a server, as well as a backup on a USB, as well as printed copies for all the parties, all the security agencies. So it's very difficult to alter anything. Nasser El Rafai there, the governor of Kaduna State. Well, for more on this, let's cross to Kaduna now and speak with Muiwa Adeke, a spokesman for the governor of Kaduna State. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Um, so beyond making it into the history books, what difference has electronic voting made to the administration of ballots in Kaduna State? Good evening, Charles. Uh, thank you for having me on your program. Um, I note that you've um, commented on the historic nature of electronic voting in Cardinal uh, State being done for the second uh, time. The difference is that electronic voting technology was adopted precisely to protect election integrity and uh, promote transparency. So we've seen um, just as in 2018, okay, uh, we've seen um, a state government okay, losing um, elections in some constituencies and winning in, in others, ensuring that the results declared by the election management body reflect the actual preferences that uh, the voters expressed at the ballot box. So the investment in technology is not for showing off, it is to ensure that the votes cast by the citizens matter, that everybody who is elected knows that he or she has earned a free and fair mandate, that these are not uh, confected uh, figures, these are not uh, results uh, secured by unlawful tactics, but these are transparently uh, secured uh, uh, mandates. Uh, we have insisted since uh, 2015 that at our own level as a subnational, we must make a contribution to deepen democracy by ensuring that whoever chooses to cast their votes in elections organized by the Cardinal State Independent Electoral Commission would know that the results will reflect the preferences that they have expressed. Well, uh, it's the second time that Kaduna State is deploying the use of technology in an election. The first was in 2018, and at the time, there were issues around the use of those uh, machines. Uh, things uh, talk about multiple voting, voting and all the rest of it. I mean, what improvements did you make to the system this time? Well, um, in 2018, we had um, a significant gap based on the non-availability of INEX card register, which made um, accreditation um, difficult. But in 2021, we've tried to uh, resolve those um, gaps by ensuring that uh, no voting card can be used more than once. That is the innovation that has been introduced. And uh, we think that this has uh, been, been helpful across the board. 
Um, but but there were a, a lot of problems this time again, weren't there? I mean, uh, there were. I mean, beyond the actual voting process, I mean, there were repeated postponements, elections in a number of local governments had to be put off because of security concerns. There were also the usual logistical problems. There were allegations that voting machines were snatched in some areas. Staff were assaulted. So when you look at the overall conduct of the election, it's not that dramatically different from, from the other lot, is it? I wish to respect, respectfully disagree with you. It, there has been a dramatic um, difference. The instances of um, political misconduct and illegal um, actions say much about the persistence in our political culture of um, attitudes that um, we must leave behind if our country as a whole is to, is to progress. But overall, across the 19 local government areas where elections were conducted, the citizens largely conducted themselves in a peaceful and orderly manner. And that is um, uh, reflected um, all around. Fair-minded observers have commented on the ease of voting. Uh, they've commented on the transparency of the results that have been um, declared. And regarding the four local government areas where the elections were postponed for security uh, reasons, uh, we think that uh, while it is extremely important to ensure that democracy at the local level is based on governance by elected uh, officials, we must ensure that the votes to elect those officials must be held in conditions that guarantee uh, the safety both of the voters and uh, the officials that will conduct the elections, as well as the security agencies that would provide uh, a safe canopy for everybody to establish their, um, their preference. So uh, no election was uh, postponed or uh, cancelled after it ought to have started. No. The four local governments that were identified, the elections were postponed in those local governments well before the uh, 4th September 2021 uh, voting day. And in the 19 um, uh, local government uh, areas where elections were conducted, yeah, there were um, a few issues with, um, with logistics, but on the whole, it has been a satisfactory uh, result. Just like in 2018, ordinary people in Katana State showed that uh, uh, technology is um, easily embraced. Uh, most people have access to, um, to phones, and they've been able to uh, easily uh, use the uh, electronic voting machine because it is not um, complex. Everybody can cast their vote, vote for chairmanship and councillor in their polling unit in less than 10 seconds. Well, I mean, to, to be fair, congratulations on doing that and, and on taking electronic voting forward. And, and I hope the rest of the country are watching what's happened in Kaduna State and can learn something from it, especially as 2023 approaches. But let's talk about the other issue that led to the postponement of the elections in some local governments. So there was talk about you know, the, the security in those places. You've got the Kaduna Economic Investment Summit uh, taking place later this month. There are concerns that it could be affected or disrupted by security. What assurances can you give? And we've got about a minute. Well, this uh, Kaduna Economic and Investment Summit, Kaduna 6.0, is the sixth edition that we're going to be holding on the 23rd and 24th of this month. We've held five previous editions of it. This summit has helped Cardinal State to attract more than $2.8 billion you know, in uh, private, local, and foreign investment into the state. Uh, we have not uh, hidden the challenges of security, but we have shown that this is a business-friendly state. We are open for business, and investors accept our credentials. That's why we were selected in World Bank ranking as the best place for doing business in Nigeria. World Bank doing business reports uh, subnational ranking. And we have striven hard to maintain this ranking, and we are sure that the investors that have embraced us are also our biggest ambassadors. Okay. One of the biggest investments in Nigeria today is the steel mill in Kujeni, in Kagarko local government area. We have not got right. the Yakuta steel to work since 1976. 
this still well, that's a bit longer than a minute, isn't it? But uh, I, I apologize for interrupting yes. you because I know you want to talk about that. But sadly, we're out of time. Muyua Adekeye, spokesman for the governor of Kaduna State. Thank you very much.